This video is made possible by Invato Elements. Download anything absolutely free for 7 days. Check the first link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Liquid Lines. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second, you are free to use your own settings. Now the first step is to create a new shape path. So go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, that my fill is set to none, and my stroke is set to a solid color. For this solid, I am using this white color. Also, my stroke size is 20 pixels. Now click on the composition window, and make a path like this. In case you don't like this method, you can always turn on this Roto Bezier option, and make a smooth path like this. It will automatically add smoothness to the path. But I really don't like to use it, because it does not give me the flexibility for making the required shape. So let's undo that, and then turn off this Roto Bezier for now. I am creating a path manually like this. Of course, you can choose your own design. I have created this random stroke path. Now I am going to smooth out the corners of this path using the handles. It will take some time, but the result will be much better. In case you don't know how to use the pen tool, you can let me know in the comments, and I will make a separate tutorial on it. Now rename this layer as the liquid line, and then open it. Here you will find this add button. Simply click on it, and choose trim paths. Now open trim paths, and here we will use this end option, for animating this line. Change the value to 0%. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then add a keyframe in the end, as well as the start. Then go to around 3 second position, and change the start, and end value to 100%. Right now you cannot see any moment here, we just need to select the start keyframes, and place them a little further away from the end keyframes. This distance will increase, or decrease the stroke length. I am keeping this size. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. And this is following the path only. If you make any changes in this path, the stroke will follow it. Now open this shape, and then this stroke option. Change the line cap to the round cap, and it will make the edges of the stroke round. If you are using the latest version of After Effects, you will have this taper option. By using it, you can make this stroke tapered. But I am guessing you may be using the older version of After Effects, and you don't have this feature, so I am going to ignore it. Before moving to the next step, let's quickly take a look at Invato Elements. Download unlimited After Effects templates, logo music, background music, sound effects, fonts, stock footage, web templates, mockups, and more. Visit the first link in the description, and download anything for free for 7 days. Let's make it a little liquid. Minimize it to get some room. Now select it, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the roughen edges. Apply it to the layer, and I am going with the default setting. Now make a duplicate of this layer, and then place it a few frames forward. Now open this layer, then contents, shape 1, and then stroke 1. Here we have this dashes option. Simply click on this plus icon, to add the dashes, and change the dash value to around 30. 
Also, I am changing the stroke width value to around 14. Now make one more duplicate of it, and this time I'm going to make just a minor change. In the stroke option, change the stroke width value to 12, and then place this layer a few frames forward. I am also playing with the dashes option, for achieving a different look. You are free to use anything you want. Let's keep this size, then adjust the timing. And now we are done. See how easy it is? So this is it for today, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.